What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So Hunter and I are on our way to Cleveland today. We are going to see another YouTuber. He's one of my son's favorites, Mini Lad. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him or not, but um, he does have over 5 million subscribers. So um, Hunter and I are going to see him. He's on tour right now and uh, we're on our way. We're going to stop at the hotel, get checked in. Um, I was just laughing because Hunter and I, and we didn't plan this, we had the same color shirt on today, so we were kind of laughing about that. So we're going to stop at the hotel, get checked in. I'm going to change clothes and freshen up and get ready. We did get um, like VIP tickets so we can go ahead of time uh, around 7 and um, they have, we'll have like a Q&A and things like that and you get some other you know other things that go along with that that particular package so we are almost to Cleveland we're probably about maybe 20 to 30 miles out so I just thought I would check in I'm gonna take you guys along with this um, I don't know that I'll be able to take the camera in to the venue itself for the show um, but I'm gonna sort of vlog and document as much as I can so anyway um, that's going to be it for now, so I'll check back in in just a little bit. See you soon, guys. Just check everything out and maybe get you know, a little bit of a uh, video of what's going on down here. It looks really, really cool. It's nice and windy. Well, I say nice and windy, but it's very windy today. So, uh, a little bit. But anyway, we're going to check stuff out. So, I'll, I'll show you guys around a little bit. Check back in soon.
guys, we are back home safe and sound, and it's we've actually been home since yesterday. So I, I sat down to film this part of the video, and for some reason it wouldn't upload. So I'm sitting down again, and just I just wanted to share some of the details of our trip with you guys. Um, the reason for our trip was to see um, one of my son's favorite YouTubers, and his channel name is Mini Lad. And for those of you that don't know who he is, he is a gamer on YouTube, and he also does like meme reviews and things like that. And um, another guy who is a YouTuber also, his name is Big Jiggly Panda, and they they collaborate together. And right now they are on tour together as well. And um, Hunter, you know, watches both of them, and I've seen some of their stuff, and they are really really creative young men. So. Um, I want to give a big shout out to them. So they did a really wonderful job um, at the show and we had a really, really good time. So we had really good seats. We got VIP tickets and we were in the seventh row and, you know, we, we had a really good time. They did a wonderful job. So anyway, um, I also wanted to talk about our hotel. Um, we, we didn't get into town until about seven o'clock. We were supposed to, and we didn't know, because we were supposed to be there around 5.45 for the Q&A. That's the tickets that we bought were for, uh, you know, for a Q&A, and it didn't say anything about the time on the website, and apparently we were supposed to get an email that specified, you know, what time we needed to be there. But when my son registered and bought the tickets, he used one of my old email addresses that I haven't used for several years now and when we we got that changed as far as getting the tickets you know sent to that email or connected to that email or to my newer email um, when they sent an email that let us know what time the Q&A would start it went to the original email that I no longer use so I couldn't even get into it if I if I tried so we had no idea what time we needed to be there so we didn't get into town till around 7 so we got went right to the hotel and took our stuff up got you know got checked in got our stuff taken up and just changed clothes freshened up and we were right back out the door we were probably in our room maybe five minutes and so um, you know, we went to the show, went back to our hotel, and the first thing that I noticed, or well, Hunter noticed, that the, the remote didn't work properly. It wouldn't turn the TV on or off, so we had to get up and do that, you know, by hand. Okay, so, you know, one thing wrong, not, not a big deal. Um, so the next thing, I tried to turn on a lamp. Well, that lamp didn't work. So I thought, okay, well, not a big deal. We've got other lamps. We'll just use the others. So um, you know, it was a little bit, a little bit annoying because I knew going in that this was not going to be, um, you know, it's not going to be the Renaissance or you know Trump Tower or anything like that. It was a cheap hotel. I just wanted something for us to go to just to get a good night's sleep, and I wanted it to be close to the venue because. Um, you know, I had never been to Cleveland before, and I, you know, I didn't know my way around, so I wanted something that was close to the venue, which this was. It was only about three blocks away, so I went with this hotel, and I knew that, you know, it, it's, it wasn't going to be perfect, and I didn't care about that. I didn't need all the amenities that I would normally want, you know, in a hotel stay. I just wanted something, you know, that was, you know, at least had a bed and you know where we could sleep and be refreshed and you know uh, be rested you know for the next day to drive home so um, you know we had those few things that were wrong so we dealt with it and then I got up the next morning and for one I didn't sleep well just because there was a car downstairs and this the car alarm kept going off and off and then it would stop and then it would go off again and this just kept going on and on and I probably woke up and I don't even know what time it was because there was no clock radio in this hotel room I mean I've never been in a hotel room that does not have a clock radio so I said okay well that's you know that sucks but you know it is what it is so I was willing to let that go you know already three things wrong so I got up about 7. Um, I did manage to go back to sleep uh, for a little bit, so I got up about 7, and it was it was daylight. 
Um, so I started to go into the restroom and I noticed water all over the floor. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on with this hotel room? So I, um, I thought, well, I'm not going to walk on this water. So I went and I put my flip flops on and I went into the bathroom and I, you know, put a towel down just to try to soak up enough that, you know, we could go in and out as needed, but there was water all over the floor. So I was just like, you know, that's, you know, that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I can understand, you know, the remote, maybe the batteries were low, um, you know, the lamp, maybe the bulb was burnt out. But going into this bathroom and having this water all over the floor, that really, it really just pissed me off. And not only that, the bathroom was not cleaned before our arrival, which was another thing that I thought was unacceptable. And I noticed in the sink area where the handles are, normally there's the little caps on the handles that say, you know, hot water, cold water. Those caps were missing. Well, that's bad enough in itself. But in the top of one of the handles, there was like beard hair, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it looked like maybe somebody had shaved and just little pieces of beard, beard hair was in that cap. So I thought, okay, that's disgusting. This room has not been cleaned. This bathroom has not been cleaned. And I was just, I was just disgusted because there was, you know, numerous things wrong with this room. And for the price I paid, I didn't expect it to have lots of amenities, you know, like a fridge or a microwave or you know, coffee maker or anything like that. I, you know, I didn't care about those things you know, for this trip. I mean, although it, ha it did have a little mini fridge, I didn't care about the other amenities. But, you know, to have all these other things wrong, you know, the place being dirty and no clock radio and, and the window sills. The windows, I looked out the window, the windows were dirty, the window sills were disgusting, um, the pillows on the bed were, you know, they were probably like this big and they were just so extremely soft that you couldn't, you know, you couldn't be comfortable. You couldn't rest your head comfortably. So I made a list here and I wrote things down. I mentioned the toilet, the remote, um, the lamp, the sink, dirty window sills. Um, yeah, I think I've mentioned everything that I had written down and there was probably more stuff and I've probably, you know, missed those things. But just multiple, multiple things wrong with the hotel. And once I checked out, I, I told the front desk, this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong and I probably will never stay here again, which I meant. And, you know, they really didn't seem to care. So, you know, it is what it is. I will never stay there again. So, yeah. Uh, I wasn't gonna let that ruin our trip. We did have an amazing time. You know, after we, you know, got checked out of this hotel, we ran and got some breakfast, and then we went, you know, to, um, you know, the marina to, you know, just to be on Lake Erie and to see, you know, all of the boats and everything that was going on there. The Hard Rock Cafe, or I'm sorry, <laughs> not Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, we just went to Florida, so that's why, probably why I said that. Um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was right on the corner, so there were, you know, there were restaurants and, you know, there were boats everywhere and people on jet skis and people, on, you know, riding around on scooters and bikes and just people walking around and, you know, there were a couple people fishing and like I said, there were, you know, restaurants and, you know, shops and everything all around there and it was just so neat just to be there and just to take in, you know, everything that was going on. We were going to take a, you know, a, a cruise on one of the, they had, you know, a big giant boat that cruised around Lake Erie for, you know, it was like an hour and a half tour and it was about $40 a person. We wanted to do it, but they were already sold out for the day. So... We didn't get to do that, but, um, you know, maybe next time we'll go and do that. But there was just so much going on, you know, down there, and it was just, it was just so neat just to be there. So we had an amazing time doing that, and I just, you know, took lots of pictures and just shot video, and it was just so super cool just to be there. I mean, they had paddle boats and, um, oh gosh, you know, planes flying over. They had, I guess... Some of them were um, maybe like like water planes. I think one of them was a water plane because it was flying really, really low. But um, yeah, just people out on their 
you know, there's, you know, speedboats and um, sailboats, just things like that. So I tried to capture, you know, everything that was going on, you know, earlier in the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but, you know, we enjoyed Cleveland. Cleveland. Cleveland looks like a beautiful city from what I could see. We didn't, we didn't get to see the whole city. We just were mainly downtown. Um, you know, my only complaint was that particular hotel. Um, but, you know, everything else, other than the, the funky streets and the one-way streets, and, and I'm used to that, you know, being in Columbus, you know, the streets are kind of like that, too. So it did remind me a lot of Columbus. So we, uh, you know, we had a great time, and, you know, my son was happy. He got to see one of his favorite YouTubers, and I, I enjoyed it as well. So, um, yeah, they did a great job. So all in all, our trip was great. You know, aside from the hotel, wasn't gonna let that ruin our trip. But um, yeah, we had we had a wonderful time. So I uh, I enjoyed it. We uh, I know the guys that are on tour. They're gonna be in Columbus, I believe, in November. But my son tried to get tickets, the VIP tickets, uh, for then. And this was a couple of months ago that we bought ours. And then the only reason we went for Cleveland was because the VIP seats for Columbus were already sold out. So. He's like, well, we could go to Cleveland. I said, okay, that's fine. We'll do that. So we got VIP seats for that show. And, um, yeah, we, we enjoyed it. And I, I think my son was a little bit starstruck just because, you know, he watches these guys a lot. You know, and it, it is, you know, I kind of sort of felt the same way. I mean, not, not, to the degree that, not to the degree that he did. But, you know, just watching somebody online you know whether it's you know on TV or YouTube or whatever and then to see them in person you know it, it is kinda kinda neat so um, yeah we had a wonderful time and he enjoyed it thoroughly and he got to see you know somebody that he admires and looks up to although they're you know very close in age I think there's three years you know difference uh, between them so anyway we we had a great time so anyway I'm done rambling I tend to go on and on and on about things so Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share our trip with you, so I just thought I would, you know, share some clips of, you know, everything that was going on and just of our trip. So if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, and, you know, when you guys do give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down, you know, it does help my channel it helps it grow especially when you give it the thumbs up it does help the channel grow and without you guys you know my channel wouldn't exist so thank you so much for all your support and for watching my videos taking the time to watch my videos and you know liking and subscribing and I appreciate it so very much I really really do and if you are new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and if you enjoyed the video you know, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And I'm working on some other stuff. I've been a little bit busy, you know, being gone this weekend. I've, uh, you know, feel like I've fallen a little bit behind on, on filming, but I'm going to try to get back to it this week. So um, I've got some, you know, some things planned, you know, for this, this week and weekend. So be on the lookout for those. So I'm going to leave it there for now, guys, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Bye, guys. Give me reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me.